Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time to rank my favorite songs from the Melody Festival and also give a prediction on who I wish would win the competition and also who I think is going to win the competition. But before I can do that, I still have to watch the last semi-final, which is actually running right now. After that, yeah, we will check and talk about my ranking. Maybe I have to make some adjustments based on the last four semi-finals. And also, of course, based on the songs that maybe now make it also in the final, even though they failed in their regarding semi-final. Yes, but... We will see. Kisterna själva, Marcus och Martinus! Really, really good stage performance. I love that. Okay, 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 the end was not what I was expecting. Um, and that is actually something not so good because I was expecting like, okay, give us the, the chorus one more time, but it was not. So, yeah, mm, I think the song is good, but definitely not my favorite. Like, I really like the the catchy chorus and the melody, but come on, this cannot be the winner, or should it? We will see, we will see. <clears throat> wow. Super catchy song. Wow. Wow. No words. Just such a good song. Such a good song. First result. Artisten has you get all here on the scene, and you have get all with your. Marcus and Martina. Jay Smith! Grattis Jay! Medina! Annika Vicky Halder! Grattis Annika! Wow! This was really a good semi-final. As you can see it is totally spread between three different people. Whoa! This is really not as I would be expecting, but it's oh, it's such a close call. Holy smokes! Whoa! The last group and one point difference between Medina and Annika Vicky Halde. They made it to the final. It's such a good song. But I'm really, really, I feel really sorry for Annika because her song was also so good. And I hope maybe she has the chance to advance to the final through the second chance later today. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Okay. So now it is time to figure out who are the two people that make it to the final from the second chance. I don't think that's gonna work for Circus X, unfortunately. Gunilla, oh, I love her. <laughs> it's so weird, this song. Annika, Vicky Halder, 
38 poäng. Grattis Annika. Rätt till finalen. Grattis Annika. You really, really deserve that. Oh. Whew. I'm not crying. No, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just emotional. <laughs> Is Fröken Snusk or Jay Smith advancing to the final? What? Whoa! What is going on? They have the same points. That's why J. Smith advanced to the final and not Fröken Snusk. And this is just crazy. That four songs of the six in this semi-final have advanced to the final. I'm just flashed, but this is really... Oh, I love Melody Festival. And thank you, Swery. <laughs> thank you, Sweden. Sorry. Thank you, Sweden, for delivering such a product, which is so much better than everything that Germany can do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what an evening. I have to calm down, because now... I have to start thinking about my top five. Let's say top five, because in the end, number one is the most important, we all know. Before we talk about the top five, let's talk about the three songs that I had in my list or that I wanted to include, definitely, and that are still yeah, worth mentioning. First of all, Jay Smith, this um, type of country song. It is definitely a very nice song. I will enjoy listening to this when it's on my Spotify playlist. It is the best out of those country-like songs that we had this year in Melody Festival. And the other one, Norland. Um, and I, I even... Oh, Lasse Stefans. Yeah, Lasse Stefans. Not my thing, but J. Smith. This song was really, really good. Then I have Lisa Ajax or Ajax. Um, with Awful Liar. I had her in my top four for a long time because this was really a good song in the beginning but now there were too much other good songs which is why Lisa, unfortunately, you are not in my top five but still, great song. Also, I will be listening to that one but I don't think it will be as much on my listening um, routine as J. Smith, to be honest. The song that I'm actually, however, the most sad about that I kicked it out is Liamo with Dragon because the performance was awesome with the fire and the song is cool and it reminds me of music that I know but I don't really know what type of music, like the artists, but great, great song. And now let's talk about my top five of the Melodie Festival in 2024. Number five. Annika Vicky Halder. She just made it to the final also. I don't know if I have cut it into the video, but it teared me up a little bit. Her winning performance and the whole thing, like when they always do the interviews in the beginning when she talked about like the meaning behind the song and how she performs it it just gets me and i always think songs that can connect me and make something with me either like feel like dancing or crying or whatever are good songs so annika number five worth it number four we have marcus and martinez so I have listened to the snippets already before um, the the show tonight and I really, really like the, the whole stage setup, those small um, corridors with the lighting, the glow, uh, the clothes, the people, like the dancers 
and the beat like duh, 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 duh. awesome like really really good however if i combine all of that with the the singing and actually like even if i think about it right now maybe i would put annika above marcus and martinez but they are very close then on number three i have maria sir definitely such a good song i have listened to this a lot of times even though it was legally not possible because the swedish television prov provider tried to basically copyright strike all the things on youtube but still sometimes the song was popping up and i took the chance and listened to it because it is such a great song the lighting on the stage perfect and very very catchy love it really really love it okay number two and now that is basically also telling you what is number one as i have shown you in last videos of last week i really really like daughter as an artist in sweden and well let's just say i have put Medina Kesera on number two and Dotter on number one. Why? Well, Kesera, Medina, I hope I have included some clips that show you how much I love this song. This is so catchy. I love to dance to it I'm, tomorrow. When I will be cleaning my apartment, this will be the song that's probably going on repeat for a long time. Que sera, sera, uh, nah. You know what I mean. So, such a catchy thing. I love it. I really, really, really do love this song. However, daughter, it is a lot of factors that come into play. First of all, daughter's song made me super emotional last time in the beginning i was like ah, i don't like the the quiet parts but only because of those quiet parts those powerful parts become so powerful if the song would be fully powerful all the time it would not be this prominent and this is actually <sighs> i have also tried to listen to this song more times when it was possible somehow to w listen to the song and there are other factors why i put daughter on number one first of all i really really want her to finish her story give her the chance to go to the grand stage in malmo in may let her perform there i don't know if any of the songs on this list actually have the potential to win the eurovision song contest this year it's already very unlikely that sweden might win again a year after they won but i just think like give daughter give daughter the chance to do it and when she has received the chance in the next years i will definitely get way harder with my my subjective view on her but as of right now just give her the chance the song is amazing it is powerful it is one of those songs where you can really tell like you don't need many people on the stage to have a great song to have a great performance it is all about the way how you tell music and daughter can do this she really can <sighs> yeah so that is my list. My prediction or my wish would be that Daughter goes to the Eurovision Song Contest. However, what is the objective prediction that I have? Who is going to make it? And when I say objective, of course, I will include the odds into this prediction. And based on... I, let's, let's just check it right now because maybe it has updated... The song with a 53% winning chance is Marcus and Martinez, Unforgettable. And like I said, I love the song. 
I love the staging, everything. And I love the, the catchy, nice beat that comes in the chorus. However, I don't know. But based on the odds, I would really say it is either Marcus and Martinez or Kesera from Medina. So those are my predictions, objective-wise. Is objective-wise, it would be daughter and then Kesera. So best case, if we now combine objective and subjective, we get Medina, Kesera. I would be very, very happy with that. How it will go? Well, we will see that next week when it's time for the Melody Festival and final in Stockholm. And for this, well, let's see us next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.